Yak. It's the yak. Uh, it's the day that contracts are up for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And uh, why don't we flip the camera angle to the center? <laughs> Yikes. Big Cat was let go. It was a cost-cutting move. It's yeah. akin to when a franchise gets rid of their most, their highest-paid player yeah. to kind of yeah. make room. It just didn't make sense anymore. Long time coming, if you ask Juice me. wasn't worth the squeeze. Yeah. Uh, Barcel's doing a rebuild. <laughs> yeah, we're in a re- Yeah. What you said. We're tanking, yeah. We're so. tanking a little bit. So uh, it was good Good memory. Should we play the montage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I um, will remember you. Just fiscally made sense. Yeah. <laughs> no hard feelings. They're giving Sass his money. It's a business. How? It's a business. A pay cut today? <laughs> his pay cut day? Sass is taking a haircut. <laughs> uh, just voluntary, though, just because you see the writing on the wall. Yeah. You don't want to be the soldier that's... Arguing back, wind no. up getting on the, ending up on the wrong side of a firing squad. Welcome back, Kyle. I forgot you guys clown like this. Good, <laughs> good start. Yeah. Good ass start. What I miss? How you feeling? Good. I was fine. Kind of bad for one day. You had COVID. You Biggest mistake was te- like actually testing. Did you didn't lose your taste? No. And explain the fit. <laughs> <laughs> I, he forgot you clown like <laughs> <laughs> no you look you look good you look comfortable you look so comfy <laughs> you dude. look really com- <laughs> you look comfy and healthy man that's all that matters colors coming back your face like this like brandon this. uh how was the game it was great it was one of the better nights of my life dj can you pull up the photo of what uh you at the game sorry i sprung that on you tj I know you did. Yeah, we had a good time. Jinx, uh, you met him before. Uh, we, we yeah, you brought me because you were a little nervous to meet him. I was him. a little nervous. I didn't know if he was going to you know, throw a bag over my head. And Wait, what do you mean you brought him? Uh, we, we went and met him at the Triple Crown across the street, and there we are at the game. Me, One question? Him, uh, yeah. Not even a question. It's, it's uh, an observation. You're wearing the same exact fit from yesterday, Mr. Gay Sex. <laughs> <laughs> let, let us smell your dick. <laughs> let us smell your dick. Can we pull up the episode from yesterday? We had a big night. Stephen Che would know what his dick smells Did like. Did you go home last night? Save, save the smell your dick thing. We had, a, <laughs> we had a long night. All right, put a pin in that. We had a good time. We, we, Did you go home? Uh, no, I mean, I, I yeah, I, I, had, I had a bed, but it, it was. It, we had a good. We went to the game. Oh. We, we enjoyed each other. It was. It was fantastic. We really don't show you a lot on this program. All right. Uh huh. Okay. So, what's going on here, bro? <clears throat> is it the same socks? Cause that's foul. So, if the same socks mean you, you, you got fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I keep, I keep extra pair of socks in my desk. Um, I, uh, we, Jinx is a cool guy, man. He's just a cool dude. You guys are all like him. You're all gonna love him. He's a cool guy. No, I ain't going, man. Uh, yeah, I believe that he's cool, but I can't think of an event where I would be willing to go with a stranger, with a, with a random man. You wouldn't sit courtside at the Lakers. Well, he's not random man. That's an event no I would do. Stephen Shea vetted him, uh, and we had a good time. Chicken and fry new hair alert, just saying. Blonde, Whoa, pink, pink hair, pink. pink hair alert. Chicken fry new hair alert. Uh, oh, oh, God, she's hiding. And cash that for Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you kind of see the hair. Uh, I want Frank to come tell her something honest about it. Nope, he went the other way. Um. Yeah. But yeah, I agree with Kyle. I don't. I don't know if there's yeah, I don't, no I just, disrespect. Y'all aren't gonna go on a, on a date. Be God no. I think, that, I think the road ended. I think the road ended with you. I wouldn't go. Right. I got offered I don't think to go it should have ended. game yesterday with people I know, and I said, no. <laughs> well, that's just dumb. Why would no, you why do that? I had no interest. Why? Hey, I don't want to go to a big event on a Tuesday night. Mm. He said that he had a lot going on this weekend. He had to rest <laughs> up. <laughs> I did. That was his reasoning. <laughs> you had, you had a big weekend ahead of me. That you couldn't go to a, a game no. for two hours on I'd a Tuesday? sacrificing days off like that. What do you mean days off? Nice day of rest. Nice day of rest. It's night Sabbath. Of, it's a night of rest is what, what it is. What were you doing at 8 o'clock last night? With you at 8 o'clock last night. No, you weren't. Uh, I was like, with you at the 7. You went to Triple Chilling. Crown? You went to Triple Crown? Yeah. Wow. We had, the, we had all the boys over there. I was there, too. We had a good time. He was there. We actually didn't expect to see you guys there. I know. It was awkward. It was a little awkward at first. I snuck out with him. Yeah. We broke the tension. We were talking shit about Tommy. 
Must, uh, must just be. about him physically. I can't yeah. how he acts. <laughs> you know, he used to have really sculpted shoulders, though. Like, I touched his shoulders maybe uh, 18 months ago, and I felt like I was touching a fucking granite. It was fucking defined, hard rock. You would have appreciated it. I almost got thrown out. Of the game? Of the game, yeah. And it's the damnedest fucking thing because we were saying LeBron, we were perpendicular to the bench, and we were about 10 feet away from LeBron. And when he sat on the bench, we were – we're talking to him, and I, I we're literally saying nice things to him. And security came over and said, "If you do that again, you're out of here." I told him, I, I, I said, "LeBron, my kid loves Space Jam too." And the that's secu- tongue in cheek. Security came over and said, "If you say that again, you're out." That movie sucked, and he knows it. <laughs> that's what. I, so he was mad that I was being dishonest. Maybe I don't know. I thought that you kind of could have get gotten away with anything. You talk maybe shit. you could have like weaseled out of it by saying I meant Space Jam T O O like we both liked the first Space Jam. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> enough to emulate that. it. Maybe I should have. It was a fun night, and I appreciate Jinx, and he's great, and he's uh, awesome. Jinx is a nice guy. He's a great human being. Did you bring uh, the cavalry in case he all he asked you the kidnapping question? What? The kidnapping. I understand, but what do you mean the cavalry? Brandon brought me as a conversation buffer. Oh, the, all the boys to the yeah. 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 I said he said I'm across the street at the bar, and I, I said I'm gonna go meet him. Nick, come with me just in case. D- so yeah, you didn't ask me. You kidnapped me. Yeah, correct. Yes, yeah. I grabbed him by the nape of the neck, and I, I <laughs> carried him across like a Your cat mouth. carrying a kitten. Yeah, yeah. yeah. your teeth. <laughs> um, but that but so if he had kidnapped Nick, that would have proven this whole premise. It would have ruined it. He's you know a I mean? cool guy. He just he just he, he is just, a cool guy. He just yeah. likes he likes Barstool and he likes us and he just want you know he's, he's a cool guy. I will so, say there was a full table gap in between the fellas and Brandon and Jinx. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we were on a date. I was finger blasting you under the table. <laughs> <laughs> Toe fucking you. <laughs> Pat Bev. What did he say to you? Uh, he was he was cool. Who was he autographing? There was a kid beside me who was just getting every player. And uh, he came over to autograph, and I just I didn't know what to say, so I just tried to try to throw you under the bus. It was funny you're allowed to do that. Okay. What'd you say? I said. Yeah. Said Pat, I love your podcast. <laughs> you got to get rid of Roan, though. <laughs> yeah. He said no, 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 no. Yeah, we had a good night. That sounds dope. You text me at uh, 3 a.m.? 3 a.m. said, best night of my life. <laughs> Wait, did you stay? You really stay in the city? Yeah. Why? Why would I go home? I had to be here, back here at 10 o'clock. Why, why, so why wouldn't I just chill uh, here? With the, with you see your loving wife? You probably missed well, you. Well, she was, she was at home, though. She's she was out all of the, the picture way out there. By 3 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last night wasn't really a wife night, you know? <laughs> it wasn't really a kid's night. Sometimes you got to have those. Too much. Whoa. Um, What'd you do after the game? Because the game ended at uh, Salute, 10 brother. O'clock. Good to see you, man. Good to see you guys. Who is that? It's a tall guy. He looks really okay. famous. Actor or some shit. He, he does, but hit, uh-oh, there he goes. No, Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn. Really famous. Famous. Oh, that's Eddie Hearn. Oh, fuck. Yeah. It's Eddie Hearn. He uh, yeah, does Showtime boxing, and he's also like the mind behind darts. No kidding. Correct. He's like bringing darts to the United States, which... June third. I got invited to the darts. Yeah, we got Greer, he, he Greer had, bought a hundred and twenty tickets. He had tickets to offload of me and you were getting them. <laughs> we're gonna have to buy more. They're all gone already. Um, Nick, this is your best outfit of the year. Uh, it's going to get better later. Me and KB are having a fit off on the up on Anus today. There, that's what it is then. Mm-hmm. What do you got it underneath your shit? You're about to pull it off like warm ups. This is this is fine, dude. <laughs> but not for a fit off. I've seen you go hard. Yeah, we'll see. Is that a Montclair hat? Who knows, man. <laughs> <laughs> is it real or is it Chinatown Montclair? It is very much Chinatown. Yeah, Montclair. <laughs> yeah. It was it was nineteen dollars. <laughs> um, that was a real smack in the face. You must be course. keeping those guys in business. Um, how much would that hat be if it were three hundred and fifty-five dollars? Fuck. But I bought this because I was wearing Carhartt pants and a Carhartt beanie. Oh. And Maresh said, "Nice outfit." Mm. So I got rid of the Carhartt hat and bought this. You weren't going for a nice outfit. I wasn't trying to be all matchy matchy. Was it uh the like Canal Street or like a short a storefront in Chinatown? It was Canal Street proper. Oh really? Yeah. Damn, that it's fun going out there. Well, we should have a show out on Canal or like we should all go out on Canal Street with a hunji and see what we can bring back. See who's the best haggler. I'd love to do that. Oh, my That's God. on my wheel, I think. 
Yeah. Hundred dollar speed run. Marvin Hagler. Can we do it on fucking uh, Canal Street or is it a hundred dollar? Yeah, we can do it anywhere? there. Yeah. Hundred dollars on Canal Street would be great. You get a lot of Louis V uh, little coin purses. Yeah, you can run it up, but they'll also try and bang you for like. 140 for some shit that you need to haggle down. Not me. They know. They know my, my demeanor. I'm exp- every time I walk to my the West Africans power yeah. when it comes. Yeah. Up. Oh my god. I'm a, I'm a real dickhead to those guys. You I don't tra- to be. <laughs> I don't treat them well. You yeah. Have to. No, I'm just like, all right, I'll just go get it down here for that price I wanted. <laughs> yeah. No, my brother, come back. I'm not your brother, <laughs> and I never will be. <laughs> no. <laughs> Give me the foam runners. <laughs> for free. <laughs> See the stitching? These look fake. <laughs> Damn. That would be so dope. I, the, the key is you've got to talk to a bunch of them who have the same shit. Find, uh, find all the prices that they're talking about. And you always got to be like, oh, down here they're talking about 50% off. Bro, yeah. you are yawning, Brandon. You got fucked. <laughs> I'm up. tired, man. It was a good night. Whatever, man. Y'all talking about West Africans. It's awesome. We got to get a black light in here, stat. <laughs> yeah. Them jeans. <laughs> It'll look like it. You're going to have, like, the Kool-Aid upper party. lip of <laughs> just under black light. But, but if, y'all, if, if y'all don't go on a date, he's going to be mad at me. Why? So y'all got to go. Why? It's fine. Why would he, he be mad at you? What's that? Nothing. Mad at me? He's a cool guy. Hey, he's a cool guy. I would go. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'd like to hear. Jay, you, you think he likes me more than you? Probably. I mean, you're a bigger uh, guy. personality. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. so you think he just likes us based on follower count? So, well, Ron, actually, Ron well, would be his favorite in the room? Oh, no, you ass. would be his favorite. Well, were you on your phone a lot last night? No. No. Oh, because that was a critique of me. Let's get him on the line. I would assume he likes Che the most if Che was the first one to go. I think Che may have been the like easiest the prey. Bait. Most accessible, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. our bait. Yeah. And Switch. To Brandon, and now maybe who that knows? That's up next. Wait, well, is it? Uh, is it like a worth it? Is it a lot? Is it a lot better to be on the floor? Yeah. Yes. yes, it changes everything. You can hear the comments yeah. when oh. when players talk shit. Yeah, it's it's hard to go back to normal normal good seats after you've you've done that. And you got a LeBron triple double. Got a triple double last night. Doesn't he always get a triple double though? Hey, he pretty much almost averages one. First Le- of the season though. But a Lake that was his first of the season, really. Yeah. Huh. No Pat Bev playing. No, but he was. I've never seen a player who wasn't in the game talking more shit than that guy. Yeah, he's the best. He was walking across the court talking shit to fans. Was uh, he suspended? He was. Yeah, I, I don't know why he wasn't Injured. playing. Injured? Injured? Yeah. yeah. Talking the most shit I've ever seen. Talking shit to the first row, the third row. He was all over the place. Yeah, he goes hard. He got out a T-shirt can and wrote, fuck you on it. Got the upper decks. <laughs> he was like shooting people <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right, right <laughs> from point blank range <laughs> with a T-shirt cannon. Ripped a hole in the dude's chest. Eddie, bro, Eddie's looking youthful, bro. I thought he was a goddamn uh, uh, Hemsworth the way yeah. he yeah. walked in. Yeah. All right. Oh. All right, Eddie. Good to see you, brother. He kind of looks like a cooler version of uh, Biz. And he's British as hell. Really? He? No way. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, yeah, he's stomping Brit- Biz. Very, very cool. Very cool, dude. Infuriatingly cool. I wish I had that. Did, uh, I had aura so to myself. Did Hemsworth. You got to uh, let me style you, bro. Yeah. What would you, what would you Chinatown. do? In Chinatown. <laughs> We're going to Chinatown. Because <laughs> Chinatown is close to all the expensive shit, but you don't need to go all the way over there. Do they have full clothing? Do they have full outfits? Yeah. Or is it just the. Uh, no, they have pants, tops, bags, hats, wallets. jackets, underwear, socks? I don't know about. Oh, uh, they do have undies. I don't know about socks. Belts for sure. Oh, yeah. What the hell is Kate coming in with? Oh, no. She got. Oh, they, my God. She made root beer floats. Oh hell yeah! Brenda. Oh my God! Oh, Root beer floats. The, no, some floats. of them are pink. It's too Kate. pink. I'm going to contact him on your asses. Ooh. I want to find, find a pong ball and make it like the arcade game where whichever one we get it in, yes, drink. is the one you get. Yes, probably one in the PMT that. room. Yeah, in the PMT lot on the lottery machine. Or the okay. old stadium. Oh Here yeah, the I'll lottery. Be right back. Hell yes! This Those is are little dope. holes though. This is d- that's a lot of little holes. Ripophobia. What do you think the pink is? I don't know. Do you think she had the foresight to get straws? Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, she brought too. in a big bag of straws. Oh, okay. Straws are, they're they're like cr- they're fun straws. Oh, fun they're penis. Th- are they penis straws? Are they? Ain't no way they're, oh, dick. they're not dick straws. Oh, they're just crazy. Oh, they're just crazy. <laughs> For her, she's gonna be a fun mom. 
She's yeah. Like, yeah. She already has a mom, and she. I'm saying like. Can't be uh, fun when your kid's an infant. Yeah, exactly. That kid can't experience the fun. The kid has no idea whether she's fun or not. Like you can't tussle with your pooch yet, can you? Oh, I fucking brawl with this bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like closed fist. <laughs> <laughs> Beat the shit out of her. <laughs> Yo, you're, you're winning. One day though, she'll get her. you. Oh no, she already is ripping me up, dude. She's she's made me bleed my own blood more than I've made her bleed. And and yet you still just don't send pics to the yak group. That's I cool. sent one last yesterday and no one reacted. Ex- we were uh, Kate on the in show. person. Kate was like, uh, "Your dog's cute." After after the we show, we were on the show. Whatever, we could have put it on the fucking jumbotron. Fucking had the crowd go wild. It's a fifty-two inch TV. Um, Tommy Smokes was on the jumbotron last night. I saw. Yeah, fifty-two oh, inches. Maybe fifty-five. Be fifty-three. They don't, they, really sell them, in they don't really sell them in 52 or 53. 52, 55, that's standard? I don't think 52 is. 55 is. What do you think that one is? 56. That's 32. It's 32? No, it's 27. I got a 32 at home. Yikes. Yeah. Okay. Everything all right, TV bro? Game. You need good. Cash? You want to play video games on a smaller TV. Oh, you don't? Yes, you do. Why? Because it's way, because it's, yeah, it moves faster. You don't want your vision. Delay. Is that right? 32 is super big, though. 32 is super 32 big? is too big for a video game? You do play on a computer monitor, then? Yeah, 24. Wait, no, that's, that's that's that is that thirty two? That's I del- probably twenty seven. I like to live my video game. I like to be all up in here, but I only yeah. play sports games. You, so, you so suck at closer it, bro. To it. I only play sports games. You're not competitive. I that's, sit probably twelve inches away from the monitor. That's weird. Yeah, they don't yeah, get that's those how PSAs I sit anymore. That you're gonna go cross eyed. I feel like mummies don't say that anymore. We're throwing throwing balls into the glasses. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. From where we sit, or we have to get closer because it feels like I think fun. it's where we sit. Yeah, yeah where yeah. we sit. Go ahead, Kate. Passing it this around. could take forever. Uh, Our own throw. Shit. Now we're gonna get the it's Civil War rules. Okay. Yeah. But the ice cream doesn't what, melt. Were there rules in the Civil War? Uh, Civil War, the drinking game, not the oh, war. Oh, this is gonna oh. take forever. That's all right. It'll be fun. I heard some bad things about the Civil War. I had leftover fish for you guys. I got with a bounce from the tank race. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you have to drink two root beer floats. <laughs> So some of them is. are Snickers ice cream with mm. like coffee. We just take some one? of them are plain root beer. Yeah, you could just take one. No, no, no. Okay. Here's okay. straws. All right, all right. We got more balls. All right. And then there's Japanese mochi rice what? wrapped ice cream and pink Mountain Dew. <coughs> and Japanese uh, mochi? I guess. Do you think that uh, Kate, when your when your kids are of drinking age, you'll uh, like make? Uh, cocktails, fun cocktails for them at home so they don't have to go out before they turn 21? Um, Crazy story. On my 21st birthday, it's not that crazy, like all my friends, like people traveled to come to my house to come pregame and hang out. My parents were really strict about drinking. So everyone else was allowed to pregame, but I didn't turn 21 till midnight. So my parents didn't let me drink at my own pregame for my, Come on now. Yep. Fuck them (laughs) folks. So now you have to do it to kind of... To make up for it, I have to, yeah. Wet. Ooh. Brandon, let me get a shot. <laughs> I swear I wasn't coughing when I was making those. Huh? <laughs> I did take a COVID test. It's negative. Luckily, the root beer float isn't a time-sensitive drink. <laughs> I just missed. <laughs> yeah. Also, none of us took the vaccine, right? No. Huh. <laughs> oh. The old clot shot? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> So Jersey Jerry's vaccine. Yeah. 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 I was waiting for someone to say something. Was that an unprompted tweet? <laughs> yeah. 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 Tweet. So much funnier. <laughs> okay. The funniest part was someone commented and was like, uh, they're like, what about your grandma? Did she get the vaccine? <gasps> he was like, yeah, she's dead. Yeah. 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 So you do the math. Right. <laughs> yeah. I hugged Rim twice and I don't think it can go in. This is a carnival game. This is a carnival. What is Jerry, I don't I mean, what has Jerry been up to? He's now he's literally the face of NCA wrestling. No kidding. Everyone's Are you pissed? out of the woodwork. No, I, I think it's great. Yeah, it's great. He's a good personality for it. That's all, everyone that's Ooh. Oh, it went in the only again. person they're talking about. Did, did you guys touch on the deep fake <gasps> porn? No. Oh, no, I was talking that's about crazy. that. Pretty fucked up though. Yeah. Yeah. And the people uh, defending that are kind of sick. You think? Yeah. No way. You don't think that. I do. You're a liar. <laughs> Cut the cameras. No, I, I, I thought the video was one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my guy life. Guy Twitch streamer. Yeah. Cool. No, with his wife yeah, with crying his wife. in the background. Like, they're both crying like he just, like, I don't even. In fact, she demanded to be on camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you need to be. Both on. of them just bawling their eyes out. I don't think a lot of people know, but he, that guy, Atrock, lives with one of the girls that oh. was on the site. Oh, like, really? They live oh. in the same house. He lives with yeah. Ludwig, oh. and he's dating 
this girl Bro, cutie that was on that side. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! So it's like way more of like an issue and for them, I guess. Yeah. So how did he get? He got caught. I, originally, I thought his wife just made him do that, but was it they found like it he was on the side? He was tab, streaming. Yeah. And yeah. He, he like he switched tabs and somebody like screenshotted like the single frame <sighs> where he was switching tabs and zoomed in on all the tabs and one of them was like a deep fake site. And then they went further and they DM the deep fake site for like proof of like what he was looking at. Why would the deep fake site be like, yeah, he was fucking doing it, that scumbag? Yeah. You're yeah. the deep fake site. Yeah. The, yeah. the deep fake site has since apologized and shut the whole <laughs> website down also. We forgive you, deep fake site. De- deep fake sites have been around. Yeah. They were. Yeah, what? Lindsay all Lohan? Oh, yeah. Right. Britney Spears? Yeah. 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 She, had a, she was a titular. Around, she had her own and then. So I, you can't look at that anymore. Why? It's like frowned upon? Well, apparently. Well, it is yeah. an invasion. Imagine if there was a video of your face over a guy getting butt fucked. Yeah. And it no, looks I, super uh, hyper real. If I knew that, that existed of you, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... Yeah, it would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very... Yeah, watch it every day and laugh. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I forget what flavors are which and what, what things are which. Uh, I, uh... Yeah, I remember like I didn't know what deep fake porn yeah. was, and I was right. I remember it, like when I first got like a phone, I would just look up a celebrity and then naked, and then it would come up with deep fakes, and I'd be like, "This is crazy." I'd be like everyone's just fully naked online. Back then, those celebrities were the only hot girls I knew of. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know about porn. No, celebrities were the only hot girls until when? Uh, oh five. No. Oh, uh, I think it was like two thousand fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, because our uh, the social media was vi- uh, just localized until then. Sorry, bro. Yeah, but there was no girls just- going wild videos did like billions. Yeah, of but those revenue. but those were like in the celebrity status to me. <laughs> those are canceled too. Oh yeah, is that guy in jail? Those should have been canceled. So. Those are crazy. Those gone wild. Yeah. I well, used to crank it to the commercials. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I used to crank it to the Adam and Eve commercials in between uh, South Park episodes. When I was like, I think probably in seventh grade. Yeah, the Ashley Madison yeah. ads on the radio on Sirius <laughs> XM were so hot. <laughs> Monogamy meets monotony. Can we listen to that? I want to. Uh-huh. <laughs> Eating off to a radio commercial. <laughs> yeah, I also don't understand any, why anyone would jerk off to <laughs> fake porn. Like it, it, I can't imagine that's like enjoyable, yeah, right? I, well, it's like when you're well, on. That's one thing I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, I, I absolutely can imagine it. But it's like when you're scrolling the old hub, and above it, it's like an ad for like Family Guy porn, and I'm like, who is clicking that? But people are clicking that. Yeah, hundred percent. That's more of a, a curiosity. <laughs> yeah, not a, it's not. That's a what that guy dude. said, right? He said he was. He said he did. It, he clicked on it because he was curious. Uh, yeah, but that was just mm, a lot. Ads for it. They uh, apparently he was paying for it. Oh, oh, God. Oh, no, he wasn't curious. They messaged the deep fake site, and he was, he was on there for four and a half minutes. <laughs> yeah. He was. How was it, Brandon? Delicious. It's delicious, but it's so hard to drink. I just yeah. it's, the, the straws are a lot. If you have it in your lap, it makes it. Wait, what's, what are the brown harder. ones? Um, so what's the pink ones? That's what I. There's one root beer float that has chocolate, vanilla, and uh, strawberry. There's a coffee one with Snickers ice cream. There's a root beer one with Snickers ice cream. There's coffee with Snickers. A pink Mountain Dew with strawberry ice cream and a pink Mountain Dew with mochi ice cream. These straws are crazy. I know. <laughs> these were my original intention for the tank race. I thought we could sit around with these like a hookah here. <laughs> uh, and then there's like a weird new Pepsi flavor one with like nitro Pepsi vanilla. And there's a coffee thing. I don't know. I, I don't know what it was. I just grabbed it. They had downstairs in Walgreens or whatever that is, the ice cream was locked. I had to get an attendant to unlock yeah. the ice cream. Everything's, Everything's locked, locked in that motherfucker. Right. And I Everything's said, why? They locked. said, but all the other food was not locked except for the ice cream. And they, she said it's like the highest theft thing in there. Not the highest, but like of the food section, ice cream. Like whole they big ass ice boxes. cream. That's a life I could live. The people that work there have it bad. Mm-hmm. Every single week you come in and there's just a cardboard over the door because someone exploded through the door. Yeah. Every single week. Yeah. Getting assigned to it, that. they repair it, and then it, someone goes right through it the next night. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> How and why though? Because they're breaking in. Oh yeah, that makes sense. They get bro- they get someone breaks in there once a week, 
No, I thought th- they have like a metal thing in front of it. It goes down. I think people are just psychos like just throwing through. their body through the glass. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, this is, we're pretty close to ground zero for psychos. Yeah, this not is ground awesome. zero, just ground zero for psychos. This is delicious, though. It's, it's, it's delicious. Thank you, but it's tricky. Yeah. Right, you got the coffee one, it looks like. I think I did. No, I think it's chocolate. Oh. I got a coffee. I think mine is coffee with something else. Yeah, do you think that, why do you think that uh, ice cream is so s- stolen? Because it's so damn tasty? Because it's accessible? Because it's calorie rich? Well, do you carry Maybe. around a spoon? Do you steal a spoon? That's what I mean. Well? Are you just licking it? Yeah. you bare hand and coffee in the wintertime? I talked to Mr. Making Money about you. Oh. Oh, you got to chill with him? He's a good guy. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. Loves KP. You guys are be- you guys are best friends. He tells me that in person, but does he tell he keeps that energy with other people? Oh, big time. He was listing off his favorite employees. He doesn't adjust and the rankings. He ra- kept yeah. on adjusting the rankings and you were always in it. Yeah. Crazy. He was showing me like long DM conversations. What was his other rankings? Who were the other ones? W- weren't you? I know. Who were the rest? Down, uh, t- you like Tyler Miller? Like Tyler what? Miller a lot. Like him and Tyler put in like a maybe a seventeen hour shift the one day. Like they were at the bar in the morning and like It was too love to burn. Yeah, they were and they were burning. But Mister Making Money for someone who loves to burn, very white teeth. Oh yeah, very yeah. white teeth, mm. really white teeth. Uh, but I think he said he stopped drinking coffee. He switched over That's to matcha. He grinds up matcha in the mornings. It was my first time meeting him. Sass, you ever met him? I have. Yeah, I met him at the company party last year. Good guy. Oh, bro, he did not say the same about you. Oh, really? <laughs> No, Why are you just bringing us all bad news? No, I just brought KB really good news. Yeah, but then yeah. you just turned on me and sass. I would be shocked if he said anything about me. No, he liked you. But you weren't you weren't in his top. F- or I don't think you were in his top five. The only one I consistently remember being in all of his top fives was you. There's no way I was in his top five. We talked for like thirty seconds. That's all you need with sassy. Yeah, that's all you get. <laughs> Unless you're paying. Yeah, you 30 seconds to wow me. <laughs> <laughs> right, you got 15 And you get seconds. 45. Yes. <laughs> I'm so distracted by this drink. It's really Double good. Glass. It's a real treat. This is your sign to go out and make yourself float today. Pretty blatant sign. <laughs> 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 it's pretty, pretty in your face. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't. Well, it looks like he's going in. Mr. Bowers has got a sweet tooth all the time. Uh, Someone tried the strawberry yeah. one. You want the strawberry? What was the strawberry? I, all I heard was some, uh, it sounded like you said like sushi was in it or some shit. Yeah, sushi. That's sushi the one that had the mochi do? balls in it. Oh, mochi, though, balls. I think. mochi balls. Sushi balls. I thought you said sushi balls for some reason. Sushi ball. No, it's like. Um, I could go for some sushi balls. It's too. like ri- sweet and rice something wrapped around ice cream. They're little balls. I I'm can good. get full off sushi. I can too. Oh, me too. I don't know why there's this uh, yeah, more full. I get yeah. full quicker off sushi. It's a good full else. too. It's a healthy full. Oh. Yeah, and I feel like there's like um, a stigma that you don't ro- get. <laughs> bro, the same exact shit happened to me. That's how many I'm rolls do you floor. buy when you get sushi? I get two. I get. I got three and I got. I get me. one big one and then I get one uh, small one. A I do one. that too. One special one yeah. and one just standard. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Or no, uh, sometimes I'll do a big one of of standard and then a special one of small. Really? I'll That's do like shrimp tempura. Yeah. Small. Oh, I don't want shrimp tempura. Well, it just doesn't feel Crispy like I'm shrimp. Sushi. Dude, that shit it's is the so best way. Good. It's the best way for me to have kids also eat the sushi if I have shrimp tempura in it. We had a uh, chicken tender sushi in Morgantown. Really? Yeah, it was great. That's what I like. I is sushi healthy? Don't fish. Uh, run, yeah, I think so. Yeah. The rice when I eat sushi, great. I'm like, I feel healthy. Fine. Oh yeah. The what's great? Yeah, y- you feel incredibly healthy. Yeah. The everything's good. For you. I mean, it's not good to have that much rice, but the rest of it is good. So, like sashimi, especially, is is good for you. I, I once had six special rolls, and that was one of the last times I almost threw up from food. Six. It was, yeah, it was. Why did you do? Why'd you get six? I went to like an all you can eat, all you can drink place, and then it's like you pay for what you don't eat, and uh, I tried to over ordered. Prove how Asian you are, or something. It's no. a lot of. <laughs> it is. It was a lot. Yeah. How much sake? We'll take you to your table. No thanks. I'll sit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, quite a bit. I've never uh, been drunk off sake. I saw. I think the only time I've ever had sake was with you, Koreatown. Yeah. Yeah. We used to go to there. We used to go to Koreatown. Used to go there all the time. We should have a sake drinking show. No race. 
Just to see who if we can get drunk. So you should just hire a hibachi chef. Yeah, why don't we That's race every time? Ah. That'd be awesome. Mm. Hibachi's fun. Hibachi. Yeah, it is. I've never caught the meat. Oh, really? No. Never caught the meat. I can't catch things in my mouth. Not good at it. Never learned. Yeah, me too. They never even throw it to me because they know <laughs> I'm not going to catch it. They see you missing your straw. Your <laughs> hey, this is not a joke. Are you, aren't you? you? Aren't you really good at catching th- food in your mouth? Yes. You are. I've seen you do that before, right? I know. Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, yes. I am. I don't like to brag. I don't get the logic behind it. I don't get how you know where your mouth is. I can throw shit up like crazy high and catch it in my mouth. Crazy that dogs are just so good at that. <sighs> right? They use their mouth for a lot more things. Yeah. You can throw your dog anything and they catch it in their mouth. Also, they can't catch shit with their hands, though. If you got That's peanut true. butter stuck to you, I can, I can also. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> What? What? <laughs> saying, I was saying I catch stuff in my mouth. And you're like, dogs are really good at that. Oh, oh, I yeah, yeah. Peanut butter and stuff. That was a good rumor. When there, uh, that was always a rumor in everyone's school. I yeah, but like. it, every every one every area had a specific person. Yeah, yeah. How did it end up on them? Because they probably did it. Yeah, probably. So, there was always a girl who did that with her dog. There was yeah. always a girl whose pussy ripped down. To her asshole. There was always the the starburst in the pussy. There was wait what the I've starburst? The, star. oh, the Jolly Ran- Jolly Rancher. All white wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. At the house party where someone gets fucked in the ass and then shits everywhere. That yeah. one, yes. The guy but who what's did the Jolly acid Rancher? and turned into orange juice. Yep. What's the Jolly Rancher thing? It's to put it in the pussy to have a more flavorful munch and then oh for a guy to eat oh a herpes sack for a piece of candy and then oh. bite it off. <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> oh, I've heard that one. I never. I've heard only that heard that one. from you. Drilled that in our I've heard minds. Heard that from you. Ours was all the same I'm, girl. Damn, crazy, crazy Ooh. high school experience. Hmm. Ooh, the herpy sack one is disgusting. That's tough. Yeah, we've talked about it before. That there was, there was always like herpes rumors in high school too. Like, oh, they have herpes. No, they've they've fucked one. E- they fucked one person, and that person was a virgin. Right. Yeah. Well, they're dirty. And her pussy's loose. Loose pussy, yeah, that was a good one. I remember there would be like a girl that had sex once. Everyone would be like, "Yeah, it's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway." Yeah, all pussies loose. I've never felt anything. <laughs> <laughs> to choose the left or the right wall. To run. <laughs> <laughs> right on your back, running like a bear. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun being a girl. Yeah, people in high school are mean. Yeah, yeah they <laughs> are. So, cool. so I, I guarantee every one of those ruined the girl's life. Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Like it ruined her. It probably gave her lasting psychological damage that she carries to this day. How you didn't like your... If the straw is tough. The straw <laughs> makes it tough. <laughs> I know. Those were the only straws I had. And by the way, Booth, there's three for you. There's three for Booth. You're feeling squirrely. Don't grab a crazy straw. Unless it's just yeah, crazy just drink it inside. right out of the bowl, I'd say. You never tell. It's nice drinking it out of the bowl, though. I finished mine. It was really good. I finished mine, too. Very refreshing. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Kate. That was Thank so you, nice yeah. of you. We were all talking about well, it. None of us I know. Like, into action. Not, not into my yeah. mind. You're a great doer, and you also have great ideas. Well, I like doing stuff, and this show gives me an excuse to do those things. Right. So Come up with it's been pretty idea. exciting. Oh, yes. Pretty exciting for me. Fucking um, Stephen Che wearing a Tom Brady shirt today is pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, did you, I'm assuming you guys talked about it on Pick Central. A little bit, yeah. What do you guys think? He's the goat. He's the goat. Did he announce? I guess I'll wait for Che to get back. But did Che also announce that he is quitting the TB12 diet as of now? It's over. He's retiring from the TB12 diet forever. No more. N- oh God, you okay? Ooh. What happened? Got my webbing pinched. Um, <laughs> what a way to say yeah. that. <laughs> Got my ass webbing pinched. <laughs> How long were you on TB12? Uh. 11 months i think like march 7th or so you lost march. almost um, you lost what almost a pound a month <laughs> that ain't worth it yeah was it worth it just get the oh yeah absolutely or start smoking cigarettes i'm pretty much as lean as i'm gonna be like without not eating so um yeah it was it was worth it i uh no, the it light wasn't. that was the biggest failure of of this show's history what are you talking about <laughs> you did that so he would like have another chance at winning a super bowl and he got washed in the first round of the playoffs after barely making it Yep, but I'm in great shape now. <laughs> that is, I mean, it's well, awesome that you are you in any shape. better shape than you already were. I feel like you oh, look, yeah, you've always absolutely. been in pretty good shape. You've always looked like this. No, I, I I've dropped uh, fairly significant weight for me since last year. I mean, I went from 
201.2 to 188 flat, which is like that's less than I weighed my. You think walking on an college. incline on the treadmill could have given him the same result? No, I I, I could have gotten yeah. slightly better results if I did more cardio. My cardio wasn't great the past couple months, but um, yeah, I'm happy with where I'm at. My goal was 185, so it wasn't I didn't fully get there, but I'm happy. I don't I can uh, balloon back up now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll probably get to 193 ish, and hopefully stay around there. But yeah, I was happy with it. Hell yes, man. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. That sucks. Uh, it's okay. I mean, honestly, I was probably more devastated when the season was over. Now that, now it's like, all right, we it's February 1st. We got a lot of time to evaluate draft prospects, go through all that stuff. So, free agency, the draft. We'll see what's next. It's a it's a new beginning, which is almost refreshing. I can't wait for the draft. Yeah. It's going to be fucking awesome, man. Yeah. It's going to be dope. We're going to do a big show this year, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it'll be great. Big blowout. I, I actually placed a bet yesterday that I heard uh, an interesting tip. Um, and it probably won't come true, but it's it's worth sprinkling a few bucks on. Uh, on one of the latest Move the Sticks podcast, Daniel Jeremiah said that he talked to a plugged-in guy who was a GM, and he said he wouldn't be surprised if Anthony Richardson went one overall. No, absolutely not. That can't happen. He said at the end of the process, he's like, there are teams that have him rated above others, and there's a chance. And he's 100 to 1 right now. I so said, I, the I said, like, a couple, uh, but nothing crazy. I said, like, two weeks ago that he, he'd be like a top 15 guy, and people laughed me out. I of think the room. if you're going to take Richardson, you should, you should instead put your money on Levis because Levis is about to blow the combine out of the fucking water. Mm -hmm. And he's, he can't throw in a game, but in a combine, in shorts. He's going to he's going to look he's going to be six four two thirty and he's going to throw the ball sixty yards. Yep. What are why, how come some people do the combine and some people don't? Because some people feel like they got nothing to gain from. Yeah, it. yeah, okay. It's like not bad. They think they need it. Enough good stuff on tape. Yeah. So it's fully optional. Most I would say ninety five percent of yeah. players do it though. Yeah, if you're like a top ten guy, you probably don't have to if you're solidified at your position. But most guys are going to do Let's it. Let's think who's mm -hmm. not going to do it this year. I'm Brady. I see Bryce Young not doing it. I, like just just look at my film because because he's not going to be impressive not, in a combine. Right, he's he's going to just look small. Yeah. That pro day is probably going to. He's, he's going to have small hands. Like everything's going to be small about him. Zach Wilson Everything. did the combine. Yes, yes where he, he shined. Right, yeah. I thought his pro day is where he shined. He, he did, did that. He did his pro day too. Okay. A lot of quarterbacks like will not throw or something like that because they want more time with their specific positional coach to go over that. He's been doing it for fucking fifteen years. Look at us talking sports. I know Kate uh, to sing the song. Um, <laughs> no, but exciting thing. Somebody just tagged me on Twitter. I forgot it's my month on the calendar. It's the snail outside of Cole's oh, month on wow. the ad calendar. So Happy Kate month. Shout out to everybody. Yeah. Oh. I love that that's up in someone's office right now. It was January. Cole's really got top billing. They really <laughs> did. January was uh, KB as Jesus okay. on a casting couch. Huh. Huge thanks to Chelsea for... Reminding me of this. It's just a delight. Well, you really. And I'll say it. Look at that ass. <laughs> <laughs> I've met a I've met a surprising number of uh, girl yakkers on Twitter and in the wild. I'm telling you, my DMs. I is it? I want lady yak merch. I picture like a like the pink ladies kind of jacket, but it says lady yak with like a sexy yak on it. Or a fucking dildo. Or just a big dildo. Just yeah, a big meaty. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. We're gonna, like we're gonna start that. coming up I with like some stuff because our 500th YouTube episode, I think, is in March. Oh, which I think somebody at one point said we would do for 12 hours. Yeah, I so think Big Cat said that. We're gonna come up with something cool to sell to the He's people. I'm gonna sell something that. inconvenient, like a when in March, <laughs> uh, mid March. I think it's like right before the tournament. Do you starts. think we could sell 100 yak dishwashers? No, <laughs> dishwasher. <laughs> I think we could sell one. I bet we could. That's the that's the scary. Greer would buy it. Yeah, he would. <laughs> Cliff D. Martino. Cliff D. Martino. Cliff D. Martino. Cliff D. Martino would buy it. Yep. Oh, fucking Jinx would buy it. Yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah, we talked about merch the other day. Some cool ideas on the horizon. Stand by. A tungsten lady yak statue. Oh yeah. What about a tungsten shirt? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or like a tungsten cube for women. Uh, a hat lighter. that has a really long tungsten brim. Yeah, so uh, Pilar actually uh, sent me an email. She's meeting with long brim vendors. <laughs> which have to be odd, folk. <laughs> yeah. Huh. 
She was definitely experimenting with brims, right? You had a short brim. TJ got picture. me the short yeah. brim, yeah. yeah. Joey Camasta took that from me. He looks great. Mm-hmm. Didn't TJ get you the long brim, too? TJ got me the real long brim. Why, yeah. TJ, why are you trying to brim him? Brim him he likes me. He's dressing him. I figured he would appreciate that type of gift the most. Sure did. Sure did. I buy you stuff. Mm, again, in Jan- on January 9th, you presented me my gift, which was a Santa Claus figurine. I loved that. You broke it. Y'all broke it. I didn't break it. I had yeah. no part in breaking Somebody it. Somebody broke it. Thanks, Sass. I'll get you one. Thank you. I would put that in my You'll apartment. get him a Santa Claus figurine with Mississippi State on it. Sounds like he appreciated it. I did appreciate it. I, I appreciate it, too. Shirt. I love Mississippi State. I like getting gifts. Still got to get you that shirt. I got Ron a hat, and he never wears it. But that was to buy me out of other you really want to buy me something, buy me a crew neck. You know what, Ron? You bought me a braided belt. And a- whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what a chain of events. <laughs> what just I wear, happened? I wear the braided belt every day. <laughs> How did that happen? Oh, man. Oh, fuck. Why is Oofy, my chair doing that? You broke your chair. You just broke the chair. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. It's collapsing. Oh, dude. <laughs> that is, she bro- no. You done broke the chair, spilled no, the chair. water, dog. Oh, you want some hell? cartoon slapstick? <laughs> some live action shit. What are you doing? I was dude. trying to kick over the, the root beer float. Oh, man, I think the best part was how he just tried to steamroll through it like nothing happened. <laughs> Finish the sentence. Look at the Tommy John. The whole wheel snapped off. Look at that fabric Jesus. belt. Look at that belt. BFW, big fat waist. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Who else sits in that chair? <laughs> it's only him. Uh, really? Smitty, Smitty sometimes, or Smitty was sitting in it on Monday. Who was sitting in it yesterday? He does pick central. Marty sat in it today. It wasn't Marty. It's got to be me. Right? Hey, Steven, are you embarrassed about your TB12 diet? Ooh, <laughs> snap. <laughs> yes. It must be embarrassing. Who sits here during the bracket? Me. So it's me. <laughs> it's always me. <laughs> this is devastating. I think sometimes it's not how much you weigh, but I think it's how hard you sit. Yeah. I think some people really sit think down. I sit hard? hard? I, I don't you're, know. I don't you're know. Sitting differently today. There, I did sit hard because I leaned up. And yeah, I'm and when you when people really like back? just plunge into the fucking couch. Oh, or Pat, we have a king size bed. Pat snapped all the ribs of it underneath. I just, well, I well, doing what? what? He's he like he like flopped down on it, and now they're all like snapped on his side underneath. Yeah, that that then you then you sink in. Yeah, and then you sink so you in. Get a new bed frame. Right. Bed. I d- I did that once in uh, high school. I gave a. Uh, a wrestling buddy, a suplex off a mini trampoline onto my bed, and it broke the bed. <laughs> <laughs> that had to be a cool moment, though. Uh, very cool until I heard the bed collapse. Yeah. And that was a very uh, disgusting realization what I was doing. Yeah. You got a little ice cream mouth, brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it was a tasty float. <laughs> Where it Me and Sass have a, a meeting at 2 o'clock. Do. Firing day. With uh, Erica. Me and Kyle just got out of oh. hours. I'm taking some long looks around. Was, ours was about in. sass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they told us to pick three people each that we wanted out. <laughs> Wait, are you guys going in together? Yep. I already it's have a mine, but I kind of like. Oh, uh, okay. Meeting, end of year meeting. Mm. I had no. I had mine. I have one separate. I think this is a. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I think it's kind of like at the end of of mice and men. Where you kind of he sits the guy down and like he's like tells him like oh like go look out to like the pasture how beautiful it is and they have his, his it's his best friend who like has to shoot him in the back of the head. This is gonna be a top ten betrayal. You're gonna walk into the room. There's gonna be three seats and then yeah. one. Yeah, HR is supposed to be there. Yeah, it's gonna be like Goodfellas when Tommy gets made. Yeah. <laughs> Sass is dressed all nice. Hey ma, how do I look? <laughs> and I shoot him in the back of the head. Or what are they strangle Tommy? No, they shoot him. Oh, they shoot him. Shoot him. Shot, oh yeah, they shot, shot him in the face. So they could, couldn't have an open mm-hmm. casket. Yeah. You did get the hey ma, how do I look? Quote Ron though. Mm. Kind of embarrassing. What did it go? How did he say it? That's Henry says that. Henry Hill says that. I didn't even know it was an actual quote. I was just kind of doing more the beginning of the my movie. impression of you as him. Mm. Wrong. Sass wouldn't have messed it up. I wouldn't have messed it up. That's why. Well, I think he goes. Where is everybody? Doesn't say anything. I think he says something. He says, "Oh no." Oh no! Oh, oh wow! Wow! Can we pull it up. I think yeah, he, he says, says, "Where is it?" Oh no! He says, "Oh no!" Says, oh no! No way! They wouldn't have him say that. Watch! Oh. You're about to get embarrassed. Yeah, I will. Try to do the I same will. thing to my friend Adam. This is like the, this that's like the why high we're brothers. That's why we're all over again. We would never shit on each other like that. He we says, never, "Oh no!" I'm not shitting, bro. I'm just. Well, you were. I'm just trying to check my boys. We're talking awful cocky. I was. I was right about the "Hey mom, how do I look?" part, though. 
I just, we would cool. Like, I'm cool going one for one. We see two. Tom one and one. Mm. Well, I don't know much. But I know I love Aaron Neville, yeah. That may be all I need one of my favorite, to know. It's one of my favorite scenes of Scrubs. <laughs> what? Uh, Turk is in the elevator singing that song to himself. Oh really? Into his voice recorder. It's such a great on. song when, especially when you see what Aaron Neville looks like. Yeah, and that thing on his eye. What the what the what, what? Has he got on his eye? Thing on his eye. He's got a thing on his eye. Oh. You know he has a thing on his eye. Don't that make me call out <laughs> the thing on his eye. I was too blown away by his the rest of his look. I started Frasier last night. That's a good decision. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm about to be a Frasier head. Well, did you see they're starting to record the. N- they're starting it over. They're like doing new Frasier. They're doing new Frasier? Uh, they re- what wrote, the hell am I doing? They wrote a whole new whatever, and they're you know starting. What? This is what sucks about Bill Cosby raping those women. Because <laughs> no, uh, no. because, <laughs> because they, we've gotten a new full house, a new night court, a new Frasier. We're getting new everything. I would have had a new Cosby show. I would have had new Theo. I don't Theo. think you want it. Huh? I do. Why? Because well, I, I want to see what Theo and Rudy are doing. Uh, did Rudy marry Kenny? In my mind, she did. But I, I, I don't know. New Fresh Prince. New That 70s Show. I knew everything. Why are yeah. sitcom adult men always so rich? Yeah, like pr- like rich enough that they can do. Because we're supposed to. Idolize Two and a half them. men. Their house is preposterous. It's on like a Fraser's bluff apartment in Malibu. Is loco. Well, Fraser's a psychiatrist. But he's a radio psychiatrist. Psychiatrists don't make that. Well, he was a psychiatrist in Boston. I feel like that's where the, those people in Boston. Yeah. Those people in Boston they sign up for that stupid shit. All rich. He was a doctor. That's why King of Queens. That's how. That's that's all right. You like Niles? I like Niles. Yeah. I'm only on episode four. Love Roz. Now you're, what you're going to do is you're going to watch Frasier and you're going to love it. Here we go, here we go. Then you're going to have to go back and watch Scrubs. Oh, we're watching it. I've seen Scrubs. Oh, I'll have to. No, 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 cheers, cheers. I think he might say nothing. He says, oh, no. Sash, just let I it happen. I believe you. I believe you, Brandon. Oh, no. Ah, Brandon. Yeah. yeah. Shit. Who's this? Scared the shit out of me. Betty, what happened? Now? He's gone. I've actually oh, never seen the problem. movie. He's gone. Uh, spoiler alert. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> He's gone. And we couldn't do nothing about it. That's it. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, oh, I think that. He's gone. I think we got. He's gone. Let's finish it. Now, let's just watch the rest of the movie. <laughs> it is such a good movie. From what I've heard. See how they zoomed in there? I only that saw was... it for the first time like two years ago. Really? But I watched it a lot since. Was there nothing we could do about it? Very rewatchable movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's a long movie. A lot happens. Yeah. I always forget about the whole like cocaine part. Yeah. Yeah, a lot happens. <laughs> are there any sports parts in that? Can you review that, or is that one you just can't touch? I don't think I can touch that one. Would you rate it as recrotchable? It's very recrotchable. Very recrotchable. There's no uh, sports. But you could do uh, nice. Godfather too, though. Doesn't Hyman Roth watch like uh, football? He like goes to oh, Hyman yeah. Roth's house and he's watching football. Oh no, never seen it. <laughs> are you allowed to what? watch Quidditch movies? <laughs> uh, <laughs> my favorite genre of film. <laughs> Victor Crumb flicks. Mm. <laughs> Biopics of Victor Crumb. We're actually, me and Clem are actually in this room at 3 o'clock recording the first the first episode. We're going to go back and re- rebuild everything. Mm. What movie is it about? I you probably can't tell us. I can't tell you. I'm sorry. The first episode of what exactly? The concept, the, the Chris podcast formerly known as Chris Clemmer's. Chris Clemmer presents the Recrotchables, two nuts talking ball, a sports <laughs> movie podcast featuring Brandon Walker. Wait, it's not called that anymore? No, it's called. It's going to be called something else. Mm-hmm. Tell me it's not replay. It's not. But Nick came up with the idea. So oh, that's probably good. With the name? Ultimate Betrayal. I came up with the name. But he came up with the idea that led to the name. Correct? Yeah. What's the idea? We're, Ultimate we're, Betrayal. We're, so we're doing. We're going to be do two movies per episode. Mm-hmm. One good, one shitty. But they're always the same sport. They're always the same. Oh, I like that. Okay. Because like, if I don't, if I don't give a fuck about Sandlot, I'm not going to listen to this. If you saw, if you saw my Twitter the other night, I, I had a scene from the movie Ed, which was Matt LeBlanc with a chimpanzee third baseman. So that was the good baseball movie. Mm-hmm. That was the bad. Right, one. Yes, it was mm-hmm. the bad one. <laughs> So now we won't be able to talk about the show on this show. We never talked about Friends. Uh, the, the the women on Friends in the 90s did Office Space, Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion, Scream, and the men on Friends had the worst movies in the entire decade. What was Phoebe doing, though? Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion. Oh, oh, my. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've never seen it. And then uh, Courtney Cox was on Scream. Jennifer Aniston did uh, Office Space. Space. Well, I mean, let's face it. 
People watched Friends because those women were hot, not because the show was good, I, not because anybody was. It funny. was it, early on. It was very, very fucking good, very funny. And Chandler Bing is an all-time character. It's a very. It was. It was very good for a while. Who's been the most successful guy from Friends? Paul Rudd. Wow. Ugh. Michael Rappaport. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wasn't no uh, wasn't Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Yeah. Wasn't Brad Pitt dating uh, Jennifer Aniston in that? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. A dog. Was that son of a bitch? Ever in it? Ever <laughs> was in it? Wasn't he? <laughs> you think he's more successful yeah. than Brad Pitt? No, but I'm just I'm saying successful guys. I don't think you count Brad Pitt as a Friends cast member. Mm-hmm. Nah, bro, that show sucked. It didn't. Suck. I liked it. It didn't suck. I actually watched a couple. The first seasons. three seasons are fantastic. Yeah. Some of the first the first season episodes are classics. The leather pants episode was great. I walked, the prom I video episode is incredible. I walked in on Roan bent over laughing when Joey got the turkey stuck on. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Nick. <laughs> the white, the teeth where, where the one where he, where he whitens his teeth. I, I don't know if I think, that's all. No, that one's one. great. Spray tan. The poker episode. One. Why aren't you guys saying any of the jokes? Just the episodes. Right. What, there's what a scene where like there's a scene stuff? where uh, he whitens his teeth. I forget what the guy's name is, but he whitens his teeth, and then uh, he goes Ross. over to some Ross, and he goes over to some girl's house, and she has like a blue light. And he like smiles, and his teeth are like radiating through the room. It's so funny. Once a month, I am. Fuck <laughs> 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 <Lucky> you, Ron. <laughs> Once a That's month, good. there's good this, show. There's this <laughs> Twitter account in Brazil. Oh yeah, I know. And it, it once a month it says the world's most engaging journalists, pundits, and satirists on Twitter, and it always tags me. And I'm right above Greta Thunberg. <laughs> this, and, and it's a it's a it's an account in Brazil. What's the account name? Brazil Charlab. Sounds like it's probably just a <laughs> robot. I probably, but it it just it world's most engaging journalists, pundits, and satirists. Um, and I am there's I am Steve Harvey, <laughs> there's Greta Thunberg, <laughs> and there's me. Congrats, that's a huge, that's a big deal. I don't know how I got there. Yeah, you, you're. It's definitely a robot. I got a re- company. I got to retweet the one that has me on there because it, it actually has forty. Th- there's forty three tweets. The list is forty three tweets long. I genuinely believe that nipples and friends are fake. No way. Oh, Jennifer Aniston's nipples. Are, no, 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 no. Don't fucking do this. I genuinely believe that they are fake. You think Jennifer Aniston's nipples and friends are fake? Hear me out. She's wearing a padded bra. Often she's not. I think she is, brother. Not every time. It, it, I, I'm pretty sure that they're. Oh, I'm not pretty sure. I believe that they are. But I'll I, say this: like it was uh, that was filmed on a set, right? Yeah. And this sets are cold. Like they're always very chilly. They've talked about it in interviews afterwards. They didn't say Why it was. Why are you doing fake. this? Why are you going after Jennifer Aniston's nineties titties? Because that show was the based titties. on them. The it's nipples. like the same way as KB so going after Jennifer Aniston's off to the ni- Girls Gone Wild. One of the greatest treasures Maybe. we've been given. Huh? Jennifer Aniston's nineties titties are one of the greatest treasures we've been given as a country. Yeah. Does, does Phoebe get it done for any of you guys? Yeah. 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 I liked her too. I was a Cox man. When I saw Romeo and Michelle's high school reunion the- was rated uh, R, I was like, oh. Is she dumping him out? <laughs> but she she doesn't. I don't even know why it's rated yeah, R too. Couldn't be. Her deep really. fake stuff is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> She's taking it. Oh. <laughs> now nah, I'm just playing around. I'm just fucking. No, you're around. not, bro. That shit's not funny, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's too far. It's just fucking too far. Black History Month, though, y'all. Yeah. Why'd you say y'all? It's Black History Month. <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs> Why yeah, is that? Bro? Whoa, fuck! I got, I gotta pay rent. You gotta atone. Oh yeah, sorry. I gotta pay reparations. Did I pay my rent? I don't. Uh, I don't want to be that guy that shares his dreams. But I actually had a yak dream last night. Can I no. briefly tell you the synopsis? What happened? Um, we were all living in a uh, some type of like apartment community, and we were all pals. And then Brandon um, killed, shot a bunch of people <laughs> in uh a murderous event and i was very sad as well as the rest of us and then when we went to God, capture you well we did and we were questioning you and then dr uh oz Mentalist? yeah oz, oz showed up and it was all a ruse and it was all a joke on me that was my dream it was crazy damn and the kids were alive and you didn't kill them it was an oh it was joke. kids <laughs> why did i kill kids, kids. <laughs> they were like they were like teenagers how'd you know i did it i saw you do it <laughs> you were an accomplice, brother. Yeah. No, I wasn't. We Who were was the all, least we, upset? We were all, we were, it was like kind of a like a did courtyard you, we were all playing in. Did you go back and tell everybody so that y'all came after me? Um, 
I think I like went to like get cover. I don't remember. <laughs> he but shot. How did he kill him? With a gun. Oh, An damn. automatic weapon. How many? Oh my god. Four. Four? Yeah. You need an automatic weapon for four? I could take out more than four kids. Barehanded. There, there were four there, and they were your targets. Oh. but oh, So this was premeditated. Che, I have four kids. Oh, it wasn't your kids. Shit. It was like teenagers. They were all teenagers. Mm. Okay. I wonder if that makes if that means that you um, you think that we're always trying to pull a fast one on you. And if it does mm. mean that, I'm sorry, mm-hmm. brother. No, it was it was a thrilling dream. I was I was very happy at the end. Was it was a whodunit. Mm. No, it was Brandon, but... <laughs> <laughs> So, it was thrilling because you found out that it, it, in fact, was just a ruse and you enjoyed the ruse. Yeah. It was when, funny. Yeah. When O showed up, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and then the kids were revealed. It was yeah, practical jokes in your dreams. That's yeah, awesome. It was Wild. his final trick. John Quinones walks Murder. out. Murder. <laughs> I'm John Quinones. <laughs> Why'd you just kill those four kids? <laughs> Quinones is Holy hilarious. shit, KB. He's got the exact same fit on. No, he doesn't. Yeah, you do. Head to toe. I mean, I mean, like, no, he doesn't, does he? I mean, his just says champion on it, but it's the same. Ah, uh, that's not mine. It, it's the same. They're matching. What brand is that top? Levi Strauss. Hmm. Ah. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice Jewish brand. Hell no. Nah. They didn't invent the <laughs> gene, but did they invent the rivet? I think they did. Really? I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe they invented the gene. Uh, what's a rivet? Excuse me. I think it's the metal in the jean. What was the point of Fastener. that? Fastener. What was? What are you fastening to your jeans? They're tougher. Oh. Uh. Mm. Huh. Do you guys ever have? Do you guys have jeans that you put in the freezer? What? What? Apparently that's like a thing. I didn't know about it. With like expensive jeans. Uh, raw denim. Yeah. Yeah. I had a pair of raw denim once. You don't wash them, and you wear them for the f- your first few days, and when you take them off, they'll just stand up on their own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like yeah. then it like morphs to your body. And why do you Horribly put them in the freezer? I never put mine in the freezer, but I think it might oh. be a raw denim thing. Oh, that sounds awful. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't sound pleasant to have on my legs, on my crotch. Pete, you going to get me a new chair? I'm going to switch chairs. I'm going to switch chairs with one of y'all when y'all leave. Where is um Oh yeah, he got fired. Big cat. Got, yeah. Okay. He was let go. It wasn't a performance-based thing. Yeah, it was. He was too good. Can me and Sass just uh, hop on our meeting from in here? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Not let anyone know it's a meeting. Is it 2 o'clock? Let Nervous. everyone know. Sass, this bar, the meeting was like 35 seconds. Yeah, maybe run out, do it, and then give us a full report. Did Gaz join your meeting? Yes. From Vermont? Yeah, he was in the nicest. Oh, that cabin. makes it so oh. much better. I didn't know he wasn't here. No, he's not here. Oh, Erica perfect. is. Perfect. Erica is. That's I just didn't know if me and Gaz were going to have to face off. They're going to have to fist fight. No one believes in Sass less than Gaz. <laughs> Did you see uh, on Token, uh, Francis asked Erica if she were to be replaced or like name a successor at Barstool if she had one in mind. And she said yes, and it was Gaz. Mm-hmm. What would you think about a Gaz-run company? That'd be hilarious. That'd be awesome. It's like a Justin Trudeau-run country. I welcome our new <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Canada's doing fine. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. All right, we'll leave on that. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Happy February. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take credit for that one, too. Oh, uh, TJ. You <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm a little Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, good luck, guys. Yeah. Uh, Roan, we'll speed. keep your seat warm. Sass, buddy. The, the Bushlight Clash at the Coliseum Ooh. returns to L.A. this Sunday, February 5th at 5 p.m. Pacific time. It's 8 p.m. Eastern. More than 20 of the best NASCAR Cup Series drivers in the world will compete on this quarter-mile track, which has been built in that Coliseum in less than 50 days. They did this last year. It was an awesome, awesome event. Now, slow down, Zah. That was a big. That was a big gulp. Huh. Um, kicking off NASCAR's 75th season, the Clash features a pre-race concert by Cypress Hill and a race break performance from Wiz Khalifa. Again, tune into The Clash this Sunday, February 5th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, NASCAR events are always big parties. The best. They're, they're big parties. They're, they're big events. Time. And L.A. is a great great town for all sports events. Hell yeah. yeah. I think if you're looking for like a bachelor party activity, I feel like you can't go wrong with a NASCAR. A NASCAR event. race? Yeah. yeah. That also, works. that diamond logo for NASCAR. I don't know if that's just for the 75th. That's yeah. sweet. That is cool. Tune really into cool. The Clash this uh, Sunday, February 5th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. 
Hell yeah. All right. Go NASCAR. You want to you want to pull that wheel up so we go ahead and get this drudgery over? Yeah. What are you talking about? We still have one more ad. Well, we'll get to that, but uh, we'll get to do the wheel. Too. Oh, yeah. Let's get the wheel over with. Hmm. Oh. That's a good logo. There's this one logo that's been stuck in my head since high school. It's uh, it's fake. It's not even for something. It was a fan-made logo for a fictional golf course called Spartan Golf. Best yeah. logo of all time. Really? Yeah. Can we see Where it? did that come from? I'm aware. Is it, can, is it on the internet now? Yeah. It's on the internet now, but it's the it's it's so awesome. Okay. That's well, all I can think about. What's the? It might be called Trojan Golf. I think it's Spartan Golf. Kate, are you spoiling it right now? Yeah. Look at that. Whoa. That's that's a logo right there. That's smart. That's great. Yeah. Wow. My favorite logo ever. Holy shit! It's like the whole face and yeah. everything. The really. Yeah. Is there like superstars of logos? Of yeah. A- uh, Draplin. Aaron Draplin is the best logo. Uh, is are they just are they just graphic designers across the board, or are they called logoists? He's a logo designer. Uh, well, he's a graph. He's probably a logo designer first and foremost. But he does like TED talks. He's a really interesting guy. His talks are worth looking at. Draplin. Draplin. D R A P L I N. Okay. He's the best of the best. He did the NASA what fiftieth year or something logo. It was great. Do you follow? Yeah, he's the best. There are there any brands that have uh, by overlap his book, of the same logo. designers? Yeah, Draplin does a lot of brands. Oh. This is all his work. He's great. Huh. Got cool guy. Pablo Rochette, the artist creative director, he comes up with like the most creative, like fucking shit I've ever seen. He's got 1.2 million followers. In an alternate I universe, love a good or logo. you just or is that your job designing logos for companies? That was my job once yeah. already. Um. But yeah, I've done some cool ones. So if you want to hire a, someone to do a logo, do you pay them first? Uh, you have a rate. They'll have a rate okay. typically, um, and then you'll go back and forth, and it just yeah, some people more expensive than others. Hmm. The girl that did the uh, Citibank logo did it in the meeting for Citibank on like their notes paper, and just sold it to him for like half a mil, probably oh, a mil. Geez. Sitting right there, yeah. I just just did it. Is that? Profession gonna get killed by by AI? Um, you can AI generate a company logo now in like thirty seconds. Yeah, you can. I don't know if it has like the same. You can tell when something's like thrown together. I think. Hmm. I don't know. It's not my job anymore. <laughs> no, it isn't. No. What is your when people ask you what do you do at Barstool? Do y'all answer it quickly? I asked myself that the other day, and I realized no one no one ever asks me. I I, yeah. I don't know how you answer that question. I don't know how to answer it. Well, if I don't say bar stool, like what do you do? I'm just like, oh, I'm in sports media. Okay, when y'all when y'all fill out something, maybe you're filling out an application for something, and it says job title. What do you put? I just put media usually, which okay. is vague. Could I put like bar stool personality. I don't know what that means either. Well, I just put media. Huh. Yeah. I, I would think I would say content creator, but that sounds, that sounds fucking so podcast. douchey. I know. Yeah. So yeah. 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 All right. That's at daycare pickup the other day, talking to a dad of one of my son's friends, and he's like, "Oh, I'm a pilot for Delta. What do you do?" And I was like, uh, "Same." I had to fart into a microphone today. Thanks for flying everyone safely. The bar yeah. by my apartment uh, is like a first responders bar. So there's like EMTs and they're drinking after a rough day and then I'm in there just like right next to them. I'm like, I feel you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a rough day. I know what you mean. I couldn't think of a TikTok this afternoon. Yeah. Brutal. My co-host broke a chair and I didn't have a single joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, is this a generator? Uh, together yeah, but these are kind of stinky. Yeah, they stink. Well, there might. Well, yeah. Well, that one with an X was on to something. That I mean, looks like a church. I mean, I looks like a, a logo designer, logo. like maybe the Y could look like horns, you know? Yeah. Huh. Let's spin, It'll happen. Yeah, spin that wheel. Graphic but designers, you can be comfortable for now. Let's, yeah. spin, let's spin that wheel, TJ. <laughs> Clock's ticking. All right. We're dry. All right. We are in the dry. Yeah, you do. Do do the old high noon ad. High noon hard seltzer is a hard seltzer made with real vodka, real juice, and sparkling water, not with malts like those other stinky ass seltzers. Um, They now have big cans. Come on, man. (laughs) 
<laughs> now have big cans of peach and pineapple available. Uh, my favorite flavor is the peach. Uh, okay, here Same here. Yours is the peach? Yeah, you've never asked me that before, but it is also the peach and the watermelon. I also like the lime. The lime is very, very good. Uh, down the Jersey Shore, we get this rickety old house on the right. bay, yeah. sitting there with a big glass full of ice and a peach nooner, watching the boats the go Isle by. City? Sea Isle City. It's a great vacation spot. It really is. It's the best. Yeah. Great we went to Cape May, Sea Isle City, and this year we went to Bradley Beach and Point Pleasant. Point Pleasant wasn't great. Mm. Um, only 100 calories, gluten-free, no added sugars. Their full-time flavors are pineapple, black cherry, watermelon, grapefruit, lime, peach, mango, passion fruit, and lemon. And their limited edition flavors that are available now in the tailgate pack are pear and cranberry, and in the pool pack is kiwi and guava. Ooh, kiwi, I bet, is money. Look for them on Drizzly or at your local convenience or liquor store or visit highnoonspirits.com to find High Noon near you. Look at me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know who else has big cans, Brandon? <laughs> yeah, who? I'm over that. Mm. Yeah, it's fine. I'd have to refresh my memory. My wife is so goddamn excited to go to the Super Bowl, the, the Super Bowl week. Yeah. Get out of the house for, for four days, five days, however yeah. long she's staying out there. Nice weather. We check and see if our house Freedom. is a trampoline, and if not, can you see if I can check a trampoline on the plane? <laughs> <laughs> Got to see her in action. Do you know that? I don't know if y'all know this yet. Um, in Chicago, near the office where I think we're gonna be, uh -huh. there's a like right down the street. There's trampoline a trampoline park. park. Oh, I had That's no the idea. That's first thing I honed in oh. on too. Okay. How yeah. do you guys know where? It's right down the block. I've told you where. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I just know, know Chicago. You know where? I have no idea. Okay, yeah. yeah. I have zero idea of anything. There's a trampoline park around the like corner. A block. Not even. It's like yeah. across the parking lot. There's a trampoline park. Yes, that's huge. That'll news. get used a lot. I think so. Yeah. Although we will have, a, I think, a basketball court and other so. other pickleball court, maybe a lot, a lot of other stuff. So maybe a trampoline Wait. can work. We're all going to be jacked and good at basketball. Yeah. I feel like that's the only way I'd start doing physical activity again is just shooting around. We're all going to be so goddamn jacked. We're going to be super ripped. Mm hmm Yeah. That's what Chicago is known for. We're going to get thin really, <laughs> really <laughs> healthy th people. They're thin and healthy people. We're going to get yes. so much pussy, guys. Nah. Uh, Shit's played. Kyle, how are you doing? I'm all right. Good. You still getting the rust off? Yeah. I don't like that shot. It makes him look lonely as fuck. It does. It's, a lot, it's like the scene of uh, Fresh Prince. <laughs> God damn. Wow. This studio looks a lot bigger on screen. I can assure you it's right. not. That's usually the second thing people say when they're on, like, when, like, I have somebody come in to the office, like, this studio is way it's smaller than I thought. It's my, uh, the first thing is this place is fucking disgusting. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Well, it's not disgusting to you to you walk through it. Like, uh, the, out here, it doesn't look disgusting. Look at this right now, dude. This uh, well, this, for sure, right now. But I'm saying if you're in that lobby, this place does not look disgusting. Yes, it does. No, it does. There? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. There's a couple stains. I think mold is growing on. I think that's why we're all sick. This red one over here. Yeah. Forgot about mold. I got a mold yeah. test strip for my place because I was thinking people are telling here. me I might have mold. On one of my strips? Ugh. Yeah, I guess. All right, I'll bring you one. My high school had really bad mold, and kids like literally got taken out of school and just couldn't go back anymore because it, like they were allergic to whatever it was, and it like scary. Their whole yeah, not great, not great. I still want you to give a graduation speech one year at Coats Coatesville. Yeah, I'm sure any day now though. Was it a thing where you got jello molds if you moved into a new house from your neighbors, or is that a Rugrats thing? I think that's just a TV thing. I remember when the Carmichaels moved in across from the Pickles. They were bringing they them jello molds, molds, and her, she made one for herself, the mother, Susie's mother. She went to Le Cordon Bleu, so she I don't uh, understand. Really awesome yeah. jello molds. She was I don't understand bitch. why the one family's name is Pickle, which is kind of a joke cartoon name, and the others had normal names like Carmichael. And Finster. Finster, that's right. Remember there was on the phone with Dr. Lipschitz? Dr. Lipschitz. So the little redheaded. Biggest lesbian on earth filling <laughs> Lil's mom. Yes. The little redheaded bitch. Yes. What was the, the bad, what was her name? She wasn't redhead, but that's Angelica. 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 Nah. What is she? Her doll was Cynthia. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hardly had any hair left, though. Huh. I called into the the, uh, the Kids' Choice Awards to vote for Rugrats' best show. It was an automated Keenan and Kel that picked up. 
but I thought it was the real Keenan and Kel, so I voted for Keenan and Kel. <laughs> and then Keenan and Kel won, and I, 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 I that's why they eye. won. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was the I was the deciding vote. Uh, Can you tell me the the family and details of all of those '90s Nickelodeon cartoons? No, probably not. Doug. Yeah, I know. Oh, about, I, uh, love I know about Doug. Doug. The episode where he gets the zit on his nose. Yeah, it's and a it, he it's, he pictures it much bigger, and it orders a pizza in front of everybody. I remember he was mad the... at his dad because he got a football for his birthday. He wanted like a something way cooler. Yeah. Remember their next door neighbor was were the Dinks. Cat dog. Uh, I just know Winslow the the. the mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I know the uh, what was the gang of dogs that were in Cat Dog? I don't know. I don't remember any plot point from anything I used to watch. I, I'm too old for all that. I would watch Rugrats every day. Don't remember anything about it. I bet you remember the mini golf episode. No. Oh, where they get the ice cream at the end? There's that big ice cream thing, yep. and they crawled hey, into it and like unstuffed the newspaper. Remember, I remember the one where Tommy Pickles sw- swallows a watermelon seed. Like for like, pickles. I, I, I remember that. And, yeah. Uh, Do you remember the scary uh, brother that he thought he was getting? I've seen some scary brother. Uh, cause Tommy Pickles, he had a, he had a nightmare uh, of having a brother. It was like a really big kid, and he was vaguely. It was very yeah. scary for television. I remember Nickelodeon had Jake, on their website Rugrats Mini Golf that was awesome, and you won by going through the ice cream fountain at the yeah. end. You got a big thing of ice cream, and those are the days. You got like free ice cream for life if you got a hole in one on it. But they had the they had the hole stuffed, so you couldn't mm-hmm. get a hole. I think in I was twelve when Rug- Rugrats debuted. What year do you think it debuted? Ninety one. No, I think it's older. You had to have been older. I th- oh, it, it, 93. I was going to say 95. Ooh, Reptar, the big Reptar Godzilla. on ice. 91. Holy shit, Brandon. Good call. Oh. Nice. I'm just on my shit today. I remember I wasn't allowed to watch Ren and Stimpy. Awful theme song. Not not, not good. Ren and Stimpy? No, no, no. Oh, uh, Rugrats. Rugrats. So I, when I was 17 or 18, my sister was whatever three or four and uh one or two and she watched rugrats that's the only exposure to it i ever had mm-hmm. movie's pretty sad really yeah yeah gets the watch from his grandpa did you watch mash growing up a, a little i'm a little too young for that too young for you know mash. too old for rugrats. Growing up? between mash and rugrats um nick at night so i watched a ton of like lucy and ethel and like i um, watched flipper i dream of genie yeah, yeah. i watched a ton of that shit because that mr ed was always on there on when for i was some growing reason. up yeah like i remember watching a ton of flipper for some reason which was what from 19 like 54 yeah it was the sucks 60s, early yeah. 60s we saw we watched mr ed slide to home right oh yeah mm-hmm. one of my mm-hmm. favorite things that ever happened mm-hmm. in human history they th- really Hollywood really used to lean on talking animals a lot more. We used to lean on animals a lot more, period. We, we were talking about Ed. Yeah. There hasn't been a lot of chimp movies. There hasn't been a lot. Of, well, the 90s was the golden age of, of animals. That was, yeah, it was, yeah, most valuable primate. Yeah. The last big one was what? Dunstan checks in, right? Dunstan checks in. Dunstan checks in. The hotel. I don't think in. chimpanzees are as in vogue as they were uh, 30 years ago. Uh, were, were they new back then? Were they just? Oh, Michael discovered? Jackson had one, and that that was just the rage for a while. And then well, they were in every movie. Doctor Jane Goodall was doing all that research. And oh, she was, was gor- like, oh, I thought yeah. she was, was gorillas. gorillas. Well, potato, potato. Because there was it was mist. Gorillas in the mist. That was the name of the movie. Mm. Monkeys are big on TikTok now. Are they? I just like any video of a monkey or a gorilla doing anything. Oh, did, as it should be. Yeah. Did you see that TikTok? The guy's like, this is one of the problems with like boating in Florida, and he's in the swamps of Florida. And the monkeys were cannonballing off the trees, and I said, "Wait, Florida? There's no monkeys in Florida? I swear to God, that's becoming a problem. There's monkeys in Florida. But aren't there pythons down there too in the Everglades? Can you Google like um Florida monkeys? Wild monkeys, Florida. It's becoming a problem, and they cannonball off the trees, and they like hit people's boats and shit. How'd they get there? That's people releasing. Oh, okay. Them. This is funny. I I like them. Oh, he farted. <laughs> so he can leave the room now. Nine hundred thousand likes. Yeah, wow. that'll do. Oh, I want, oh da- I want Dave to quote tweet that and just say hired. <laughs> <laughs> He's in Miami. We got to deal with that around the office. <laughs> Damn it. He's not yeah. doing anything. Yeah, he eventually moved to New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this in Florida? Well, this is a pet. No, no, no. The one I saw, they're like in the middle of nowhere. I would love to nowhere. have one of those size monkeys as a pet. And, no, but it's dude, that kind that of monkey. It's that kind of monkey that's like coming at yeah. boats and like taking over the Everglades and shit. It's wild. Tiny monkeys are just funny. No, Zah, you're anti, right? Didn't you say you hated them? Yeah. Yeah. 
Anti. stole they stole uh, stole an apple. This is me. the video yeah, I'm talking fuck. about. Oh. Look at this. Yeah, no fucking thank you. They're having the time of their fucking life, those monkeys. You're saying no to that? That rocks. No. That's awesome. Picture you're floating in a tube. Look how tube. much fun they're having just jumping in the water. It always comes back to tube floating with you. That's <laughs> saying. Can you still need to back up? I'm not going to. Oh, yeah. I don't see the problem. Or when a buzzkill, if one of them slams into the side of your boat from a tra- I- monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Something doesn't seem right about this. Why are there so many? And the, in the comments, people are like, oh, yeah, these Florida monkeys, man, they're whatever. Like, it's a thing. I didn't know we had monkeys in. in- I had no idea until I saw this. They- and I started Googling. I wonder if Florida has a lot more than you think of bears. What? What? Yeah. The only bears I've ever seen in my life were in Florida. You've in, in the in the wild. You live in New Jersey. J- North Jersey is filled with. I bears. haven't seen. Yeah. I, all I said was I haven't seen them. Florida has bears. I. I you remember the the bath salt story? Um, I mean, everyone just like joked about it for a while. Yeah. I finally like just f- like the deep dive into did it? the full story. The guy who ate the face. Yeah. What is is it's it worse insane. than you think? Yeah. It was just like a college frat kid. Really. Yeah, he oh, was. I, he thought was like, I, I, I thought it was yeah, like a homeless yeah, exactly. Guy. He was exhibiting like we, he was like weird mental health um, symptoms for a while, and he was acting real strange. But they were out to eat with their family, and he kept leaving and coming back, and then he just left and and did it. And ate a guy's. Fucking he just went to up. a random neighborhood. How to, do you even do bath salts? I don't know. You I smoke don't know them, you right? Do don't you smoke them? I don't even know if that's what the cause was. Oh. That was in, they found it in his system, so it probably was. But he was he was acting strange for a while, and then was in a state of psychosis. I think they're like still figuring out his case. Huh. Holy shit! He thought he was an animal. Oh my god! And then yeah, been there. Damn. Yeah. Damn. What were you doing in Florida that you saw bears? I lived in Florida for three oh. or two years in two thousand. From 2012 to 2014, I lived in um, Fort Walton Beach, Florida. They were by the beach. So Eglin Air Force Base is oh, yeah. it, it is a gigantic Air Force Base. It owns a whole lot of land right above the beach. Yep. And it's mostly for wooded. In what town? Um, this was Fort Walton Beach. It, what, I saw the bear. What's that sh- bridge there? Oh, oh, it's um. So there's the Mid Bay Bridge. Yeah. And then there's the Brooks Bridge. Yeah. The Midbay Bridge goes from uh, Niceville down to Destin. Mm-hmm. Why did you know that? Yeah. Destin's quite nice. Destin's beautiful, mm-hmm. but it's overrun now. Now now all the people go to 30A. Mm-hmm. There was a point in your life when you were uh, the high school sports guy. Uh-huh. You would you would tweet about it nonstop. That's you where would, I uh, – uh, lo- in Florida, I was the sports editor of the local newspaper, and I covered high school sports. Oh. Did you have fun with that? Did you put your own spin on it? I loved it. I loved I, I fuck, it. I fucking loved it. If, if that If you could make an actual living doing that, I was making 30 grand. Uh, you you know I can't couldn't support family on that, but I I fucking loved it. I would do that. You were just rest of my passionate career. about following it, or did you have your own? Style? I got into, I got into sports writing to to write about like pro sports and college sports, right? But that's not how it works. You you get stuck, and I got stuck in small newspapers, and I I was. Uh, yeah, but you follow the kids, and they go to college, and you follow them, and it's just it's just great. Did you get awesome. like oh, takes cool. off like. I would get takes off. Yeah. yeah, you can't say any of them fucking suck. Yeah, this middle that. You sucks. can't do that. But you, you know, you still you build friendships and. You what was your what was like one of your favorite stories to cover? Um, or athletes. Well, uh, shoot, I don't know. Um, they they had a local football team. Niceville, the Niceville Eagles were always like in the state championship running, and it was just fun. They they had a great student section. They had a great stadium. They had a great everything. It was just fun to uh, and a lot of that's in the Panhandle of Florida, and it's just it's really great high school football there. Yeah, yeah. really great. The best high school concession stand food in the country is in Milton, Florida. So if you're in Milton, yeah. check it out. They got mm-hmm. steak on a stick that is just like a restaurant. It's delicious. I thought you get steak on a stick at a restaurant. Are the uh, the stadiums nice? Yeah, yeah. Fort Walton Beach has two stadiums. One is Steve Rick Stadium for Fort Walton Beach High School, mm. and it's modern, has turf. But they also have uh, Etheridge Stadium for Choctahatchee High School, which is old and it's it's terrifying. That's the Melissa Etheridge Stadium. It's, it's yes, come to my window. Right. And it's um it's like fifty rows straight up in the air, and it's terrifying to be at the top of it. 
Yeah, fun, fun stuff. Thank you for letting and me And look what yeah. Bethune Cookman's working with. Yeah, they're struggling. Mm. What's going on? I've been to a game, a high school game down in Daytona, too. I went to a mainland high school game, high, high school of uh, Vince Carter. Do you know if any of the kids you covered are, like, in pro sports now? Ryan Baker is a pitcher for the Baltimore Orioles. Oh. Or at least he was last year. I think he was with the Orioles. And I saw him have a game where he pitched seven innings, 21 outs, and he struck out 19 people. And I, I didn't know if he was going to make it or not, but he's he pitches with the Baltimore Orioles now. I've seen a couple of pros. Yeah, it's fun to follow them all the way through up and up and. Well, I remember in high school I played field hockey, but if you got a goal, it'd be in the local paper, you know, and my, yeah. and it was thrilling to get your clippings. Yeah, get all your clippings. Oh, that was down. the best. Yeah. Yeah, it was the best. Best. The fucking nothing better. It's really peaked. That's when I peaked. I was in the newspaper for a Harry Potter lookalike contest. <laughs> I was in the newspaper when I was in eighth grade because I went to uh, I wanted to be an archaeologist when I grew up, and so I went on a dig with a Mississippi State professor. You find any bones? No, no. We we went on a dig like in my hometown, and w- I think we were just cleaning up somebody's property. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was we were mad. We said we were going on a dig, and we were just basically moving stuff for somebody. Yeah. All kids wanted to be archaeologists, I think. Yeah, uh, wa- I wanted to be a radio DJ and an archaeologist. I wanted to be a hotel manager and a cartoonist. Hotel manager. Hotel manager was my job number one. I loved hotels as a kid. Radio jumping, DJ yeah. was my number one. Jumping back radio DJ, paleontologist. Yeah, Those yeah. Too. Why did radio DJ stick out so much? Just sitting in a room, listening to music, thought it seemed like the coolest thing ever? Well, back then, those were like... You actually the DJ. kings of your town, yeah, those, really. That, the that morning show. That was the show? first famous person. Like I, that was my first idea yeah. of fame. I didn't know about like I just watched cartoons. He sent me on a job shadow to a radio DJ when I was fourteen. Yeah. And I sat on the local morning show, and I was just terrified to speak. <laughs> That's. I was absolutely terrified. Yeah. Did, did we got assigned like random jobs to shadow for a day? Did yeah. Darnell Foster, the meteorologist, is one of the best. Oh. He's the best of the well, best. Jeff Exline was damn near. <laughs> second running. Oh, uh, well, 1A, 1B. Max Lobhan exists, so you guys can mm. fight for second place. He's probably just a weatherman, not a meteorologist. No, he's talking sh- about the he's big actually boys. the chief meteorologist yeah. of WTVA. That's okay. That's I did college radio. I was like a radio host at IUP at like the 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. shift, and I would always sleep through it and miss, and I've gotten a lot. But when I did make it, it was 5 a.m. to like 7 a.m. I called it Mannion in the morning. No big deal. No one ever listened. Who would be listening to a college station at that time? But I was so nervous when I first started, like my heart would pound through my chest and I'd go to speak and I'd panic and I like worried that my songs weren't cool enough. And like I was so, my dad was the only one who would listen and he, whatever. Give me a sampling of the songs you would play. Oh my God. Well, I also borrowed, because you could burn CDs back then. I borrowed every CD in that catalog and would take it home. So I had like this massive collection of burned CDs. Um, Getting in the car with a freshly burned CD is a oh. top five feeling in life. Yep. Nothing more. Exciting. We don't have it anymore. I used to put so much thought into the track order. Did you do? Did you design the labels? I didn't design the labels. I wrote in like punk rock handwriting. Like I would dot my eyes with like X's on the on yeah the, with a sharpie. Yep. Making the I made so many mixed CDs. That was probably more why I was into it. But I turned out I was so nervous that I was like, I guess I don't want to be a radio DJ because I suck at this. I'm too afraid to speak. Um. And look at me now. Look at you now. Hey, yakking it yeah. up on there. Yeah, the you anxiety. pretty much achieved it. Totally. What did you want to be, Kyle? Archaeology or yeah. uh, architectural engineer. What is oh. that? Oh, my parents saw me drawing a house one time. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. And you got really. Yes, people who design architecture. And look at you now. You're pretty much doing it. Pretty much doing mm-hmm. it, man. You're the the. Building. foundation of the yak some would say wow <laughs> he is i kind of was i remember you know I, I ran all the socials for the yak oh my god you did yeah i would just role play <laughs> you had no merch no i remember you were just like you want the login for the yak and i was like yeah and i just tweeted <laughs> yeah. i'm horny <laughs> oh yeah wow well, who, who Good Do we have a lot of people that run the socials now? The the, the run the Yak Twitter account? Seems like yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, it's become bigger than it once yeah. was. They're very good We're at it. We got a team. They are good. Whoever's yeah. doing it, it's damn good. Well, I assume Connor Griffin's probably part of that team and Connor Garrett. Che during the show. Quiggs has it. Quiggs's guy DJ has it. Huh. Am I missing anybody? DJ, do you have it? 
I have it, yep. Oh. You want me to take some shit? I'm going to pee my pants. Oh, I have it. I think we should probably go ahead and... I have to pee so bad. Okay, well, let's... So bad. bad. We're at 2.30, so I... Uh, me and Glimmer right. got to record at 3, so... Uh, all right, you good? Yeah, it's the yak. All right, that's the yak. Uh, Big Cat's back tomorrow. I'm on the dozen tonight. Go watch that shit. Bye.